What's up, blockheads? So this morning I woke up to an email uh, from Harley Davidson with the subject, we're blowing the doors to our future wide open. That's a pretty big claim for a subject of an email. And so I was like, all right, I, I was curious. I'm like, what's, what's this all about? Clicked on it checked out the email and was pleasantly surprised and impressed. So first and foremost, I guess, let me just say for these new Harley Davidsons that uh, HD is announcing tip of the hat guys, applause, fist bump. I think it is a smart move and it's awesome to finally be seeing something like this from the motor company. On the flip side, I know there's going to be a lot of haters. So for all you haters out there, I mean, just come on, really just come on. So Woke up to this email, it says more roads to Harley Davidson. There's a big emphasis on freedom and basically uh, focusing on their future and talking about what the initial founders had envisioned for the company, which is awesome that they're kind of getting back to those roots and, you know, focusing on that. You know, they're saying that their vision has never changed. Like, to be totally honest, uh, the, the feeling of the the market out there, especially from running a motovlog based on Harley Davidson. A lot of people come to me for advice on Harleys, um, for modifications, you know, to buy them. You know, they always are comparing these bikes to other style bikes from different manufacturers, right? And they're saying, you know, why doesn't Harley have an ADV bike? Why doesn't Harley have like a sport bike? Or why doesn't Harley have a mini bike? Well, Harley Davidson is finally taken all those like questions into consideration uh, from the looks of it and they're coming out with an answer to those questions. So just looking over the email, uh, they've got a video first and foremost, which I'm going to be dropping a clip of here in just a second. They showcase the live wire, which we've seen pictures of previously. I don't quite know the whole backstory on the live wire, but there's pictures of it out there. They had people ride it, um, but I don't think it really went anywhere. I know there were a couple made, but I don't know if like what the technology wasn't there yet or whatever. I'm sure there's a couple of you guys out there that know more about it than I do, but it's a cool looking bike and very different for Harley. So the next one up, Pan America. I made a video about this a while back whenever Harley Davidson uh, trademarked or copyrighted the names. Uh, Pan America was one of them. Uh, 48X was another. But what I was talking about for the Pan America was that it sounded like it was going to be an ADV style bike. And sure enough, here it is, Pan America, Harley Davidson's first adventure touring motorcycle, the 1250cc adventure bike. Next up is probably going to be one of the favorites, uh, future custom model, all new custom motorcycle with muscular stance, aggressive strip down styling, 1250ccs of pure performance. So I have heard that all of these engines are going to be liquid cooled, which seriously, finally, good job, Harley Davidson. That's probably one of the biggest comments that I get on the channel for people criticizing Harley Davidson is that like why in today's age with today's technology are their bikes still air cooled you know I I understand why they are but I also think in terms of performance and reliability like why not have them liquid cooled right there's been lots of times where I've been sitting in traffic and my legs are burning off because the damn engine gets so hot and you know you can't help it if you're living in a city and you're not driving long distance man i had to get love jugs and throw them on my bike in order for it to help it right so i think that's definitely a step in the right direction um as long as it's not just like oil liquid cooled heads you know if it's actually liquid cooled you know like um what do you call it uh like engine ice or something like that you know coolant which I don't know if it is or not. This is all speculation, but kind of announcing the news that Harley has given us. Also, way out there for Harley Davidson. Obviously, the uh, the ADV is way out there for Harley Davidson. Uh, the Future Custom looks pretty cool. I guess just to elaborate a little bit more on this bike, it kind of reminds me of a couple different styles. It's like a medley of a few different styles. Like the seat looks cafe style to me. Uh, the, the fat front and rear tires look 48 to me. Um, the exhaust on the side very much looks like the new uh, Fat Bob, right? The 2018 Fat Bob. The engines on a lot of these, um, the way they've they've got the sides of them, uh, obviously we don't have like a ton of info, but it looks a lot like the Indian, you know, like the design of the Indian, how they're flat on the sides. Be interested to see what uh, moniker or nickname people come up with for these. Via the email or this article that I did read, though, says that uh, the engines are modular from 500cc all the way up to 1250cc. So they're going to be using them in uh, a whole range of bikes from, say, the Pan America 
to the custom to the Street Fighter. This one crazy different for Harley Davidson. They're actually you know getting into the middleweight models um, with a Street Fighter like that is crazy awesome. And I know um, one of our blockhead crew guys, Greg, he'll be happy for sure to see the Pan America. <laughs> Uh, sent the guys the information this morning and he said that his uh, Kawasaki Versus is getting nervous. That rhymed. Yeah, his Versus is getting nervous because of uh, seeing the Pan America. Like, it's getting that, that fright from uh, being about time to trade in. So, I think the talk about this one for being in uh, 2020. Um, the electric models are talking about being in 2019. And then the Street Fighter, also 2020. Man, we're, we're going to have a lot of fun on these Tesserads, guys. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Harley Davidson, seriously, guys, I just got to say, like, this is a huge step in the right direction. And uh, seriously, tip of the hat, guys, tip of the hat. Whenever we come over to their page, you click through the link. Um, it does give you this video, which I will play right now. And 15 years ago, the four young men who founded this company took their first motorcycle for a ride. They were pioneers of a new kind of freedom. Their dream was to give the world something better than people could get from the horses and bicycles of the day. Times change, but the mission of Harley Davidson doesn't. Bring more freedom to the world. Get ready. We're blowing the doors wide open. We're leading the way and taking the thrill of riding into the future. We're exploring our routes to invent what's next. And we're creating more new products that are easier to ride than a bicycle. Just twist the throttle and go. We are riders. We don't sit still and watch the world go by. We take off on new adventures and head for new places. Some of the things we do are going to raise some eyebrows because this is about inventing new ways to thrive in a new world. just getting started we're bringing our brand of freedom to new people and new markets across the world we're creating new shopping experiences and easier ways for people to connect with Harley Davidson and through it all we'll continue to improve the motorcycles loved by riders all over the world in ways that most people can't imagine. But we can. We're running wide open because this is about the pursuit of freedom. So that video has a huge focus on them, well, obviously focusing on the future, you know, trying to kind of shake off uh, a lot of the, a lot of maybe the stagnant feeling that they've had previously, or obviously they're taking like huge steps and huge moves to pave kind of a new, a new road for Harley Davidson. They're, they're coming out with bikes that they've never come out with anything like similar before. A Street Fighter from Harley Davidson, like that is crazy crazy so i think like a lot of the message for the from the video is basically saying that you know they're obviously looking to to progress what they've been doing previously releasing the same models um you know kind of giving them different designs a lot of people have you know criticized saying that they're just interchanging parts you know swapping parts over and stuff um and so this is definitely like these bikes you can't really say that about these are totally new 
totally different styles of bikes. They're not they're not just cruisers anymore. You know, like one's a ADV bike. You know, a street fighter is more like a sport bike, and they're definitely appealing to a newer, younger demographic. I think with their focus on you know saying that they're wanting to go into the future and you know taking on these new challenges and uh, going in in new directions but they're also trying to keep the same um the same idea and principles that the founders had i would say they're probably trying to take less heat from the older demographic obviously and i can guarantee you guys that some of y'all out there are going to be offended and are not going to like some of these motorcycles and that's okay seriously that is okay that you don't like them you don't have to like all motorcycles out there. Find a motorcycle you like, buy the motorcycle, right? Ride what you ride, like what you ride. However, Harley Davidson going in this new direction is not a bad move for them. If you truly like the brand, if you like what they're doing, if you like riding their bikes, there shouldn't be hatred for them trying to future-proof themselves, trying to stay current in an evolving and progressing market. Liquid cooled is an easy, easy solution. It's been around for a long time and the fact that they're finally talking about doing that with more of their bikes and even doing that with the new Milwaukee 8s even though it's you know oil-cooled liquid heads, that's a step in the right direction. Introducing these new styles of bikes also a step in the right direction because they're appealing to a broader demographic. You know it's not just going to be people that are middle-aged, you know young professionals, um, which are trying obviously to get you know their their hand more into graduates high school graduates college graduates obviously finances comes in there because people that are graduating high school and college you know are usually in debt and they can't afford a harley but you know with some of these newer ones depending on what their price point is who knows maybe they will be able to you know afford a harley davidson or maybe something like a street fighter will appeal to that younger demographic instead of just having like the cruisers or um the the street line or something like that you know people want adv bikes they want to be able to like go riding trails in the woods and stuff like that and previously you couldn't really do that with a harley davidson so the fact that it has changed up now like that's pretty cool like now you can those of you guys out there that i know you're gonna drop hate i mean just bite your tongue man if you guys are talking about the the heritage and like harley davidson is losing their they're losing the sight of why they're here american made or foreign made or blah 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 i fully support you know being american made the, the tariffs and stuff like that i'm not even going to talk about any of that just because it's a whole it's a whole mess <laughs> and i don't even want to start talking about them shutting down a plant and moving you know overseas for their international production stuff not american production stuff in terms of them coming out with new product lines to keep themselves relevant i think it's a smart idea and it doesn't have to be for you if you're not happy with it then that's fine buy a bike that you're happy with you know if it's a harley davidson then cool to be honest if harley davidson made a mini bike you know <laughs> i would i would be super interested and in the video they actually show um little small mini bikes so maybe that would be something cool so what up harley davidson you thinking about making a mini bike going through on their on their site Clicking through the link, um, you've got stuff talking about new products, expanding the company's leadership in uh, heavyweight motorcycles by continued development, introducing a modular 500cc to 1250cc middleweight platform uh, that spans three distinct product spaces and four displacements, starting with their adventure touring motorcycle, uh, the Pan America, and then a custom model, which is a 1250 and a 975cc Street Fighter, all of which are planned to launch in the beginning of 2020. Additional models to broaden coverage in these product spaces will follow through 2022. So they're talking about coming out with a lot of different motorcycles in the next um, couple years. So they're talking about uh, developing more accessible small displacement 250cc to 500cc motorcycles for Asia and emerging markets. Then they've been talking about Livewire for a long time. So Livewire in 2019, first in a broad no clutch twist and go portfolio of electric two wheelers, which we're going to look more into. We'll go ahead and click through, check out some of the Livewire stuff that they've got. So Livewire, we have seen this bike previously um in photos and stuff i think we've seen this one previously right it looks very similar to the one that's uh currently out there you know if we were to search harley live wire images yeah i mean that's pretty much what comes up yeah so we've seen that one before 
So Livewire model is an authentic Harley Davidson expression of individuality, iconic style, and performance. It just happens to be electric. It will provide a visceral riding experience with instant torque and thrilling acceleration, no clutch, twist and go. So that's pretty cool. I haven't had an opportunity to ride an electric bike yet. I know Zero makes um, electric bikes, and I would definitely be interested to ride one. Um, I heard they're a lot of fun. Like it says, uh, instant torque, thrilling acceleration. I heard they're pretty quick, so you don't have any gears. It's like a single gear. So whatever you're twisting back on throttle is how fast it's going. Oh man, I didn't even see all this. With all these different bikes, and one of the things that's keeping them from, I guess, being as competitive in the market, and it's uh, it, it's like a really like super huge top comment on a lot of my videos, is the price range of them. You know, they're wanting to target young professionals, you know, people just out of like college, right? But the thing with people out of college is that they're paying off student loans and stuff and they can't afford a Harley Davidson, especially a brand new Harley Davidson. I know a lot of people buy used. I mean, I've bought used Harley Davidsons for sportsters especially, but to have a, like a, to buy a brand new Harley Davidson, like you're talking about people that are in professional fields that aren't having to pay extremely high prices for student loans or whatever previous debt. So hopefully with these new models, the prices will be competitive for the rest of the market so that Harley Davidson doesn't price themselves out of the market. Looking at companies previously uh, that haven't been competitive, such as Toys R Us, you know, Amazon came along, incredibly competitive company for prices. Best Buy almost went under, but they decided to start price matching Amazon, which was a smart move on their part. But Toys R Us did not. Uh, Gander Mountain did not. And their prices, basically people stopped shopping there and they went out of business. And so hopefully with the amount of selection that people have out there right now for buying motorcycles, you know, all the manufacturers that offer something that's cool, you know, that have been in the ADV game longer, that have been um, making Street Fighters or, but there's companies out there that have been doing this for a long time that offer very competitive and like fair prices. So hopefully Harley Davidson follows that lead and uh, doesn't, you know, make these incredibly, incredibly pricey. So yeah, expanded electric portfolio. Um, I did see these a little bit earlier in the video, just to go over a few of these. It looks like they've got one, which is a little more beefy right here um, you've got one which is just more like a bicycle um, I'm assuming they're aiming to have some of these aimed at I don't know damn that looks good very nice you know one of them looks like a bicycle so it would be for people that are I don't know just going around town pretty close and stuff like that you've got lots of FAQ stuff here which I will let you guys read through that this video is already getting kind of lengthy all right so looking at the Pan America here coming in 2020 uh, launching in 2020, first Harley Davidson Adventure Touring. Command and grinding position allows the rider to see the world from another point of view. So basically riding upright, travel coast to coast, on road or off while experiencing your own adventures. It's crazy, man. A lot of the front styling looks like uh, something from one of their touring bikes, maybe, right? Pretty cool. I can definitely imagine Greg wanting one of those, right? What up, Hive is Greg? Hit that like if you want, uh, <laughs> want a Pan America. All right, so checking out the future Street Fighter. This one is really out there for Harley Davidson. Damn, it looks it looks cool. I would, I think, it, like a V twin that looks like this. That's crazy. I would be one really interested to hear what it sounds like. Really interested to see what the the new. It sounds like new engines, right? From reading it, talking about this modular engine. So I'd be really interested to see what the specs are on it, what it sounds like. So expanding our line of middleweight models, the first Harley Davidson Street Fighter motorcycle that is planned for 2020. I like this word, unapologetic modern style with enough performance and agility to carve through city streets. Unapologetic, meaning what? They're, uh, <laughs> they're going in these directions that many people are going to dislike, but they're not apologizing. Good for you guys, good for Harley Davidson. And then future custom model, all new custom motorcycle with a muscular stance, aggressive stripped down styling and 1250 cc's of pure performance. Now this one looks cool. It's like low stretched, big meaty tires, you know, high up exhaust. Looks like you should still be able to uh, lean it a bit depending on the size of like the primary and all that. But uh, yeah, that is a cool looking bike. The seat does not look that comfortable though. And where are the, where are the peg options on this thing? I guess. So yeah, yeah, you still got forward controls. So your rider triangle would be here, here, and here. Word. All right, well, yeah, I guess that's it. If you guys want uh, information to go check any of these out, I will drop the link in the uh, description down below. But that is some big news today from Harley Davidson. 
Um, I posted up on Instagram and the feedback has been just awesome. Uh, going through and looking at it. Let's see, I've got news first. So a couple of the comments. Uh, HD Space Cowboy, who's one of the Harley Davidson interns, commented on it with uh, like some rock on fists. Uh, another person, Jay Griffs, says, I agree, Harley needs to do this. Uh, that guy, Tub, says, the custom reminds me of the 883 you had. Yeah, kind of similar, low and sleek. Another person says, I wonder if it's a six-speed. Please, for the love of God, Harley Davidson, make some of these six-speeds. <laughs> I would imagine they will. Um, Ryan Franklin says, was just wondering if you would be doing a video on this. Love the channel. Thanks, man. Uh, H-Man says, an adventure touring Harley Davidson. That's a good move in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. One of the guys, DJ J-Rod says, that Street Fighter caught my eye. For sure, me too. Tampa Charlie says, curious about price range and range of the electrical live wire. So yeah, that's actually something that I was curious about as well, was the uh, was the price range. Schwag883 says, what? Combat Mutt says, whoa. Um, Brian Cannon says they look amazing. Just got to live up to that 1250 legacy I think this may be the light at the end of the tunnel if prices are low enough So once again another focus on price there Laffin says in my opinion this year's Harleys were not very good I feel like Indian are running rings around Harley especially with the FTR coming out soon Somebody else says that Street Fighter model and emoji heart eyes the me clan says these bikes are going to be awesome Another person says Harley equals running out of ideas. I don't think that's true man They just came out with like all these that's those are crazy good ideas. Another page says, only one issue with the dual sport probably won't put out the same horsepower you get from, say, BMW, etc., which put out 125 horsepower at the same displacement. Will be interesting to see what price point these bikes come in at. So once again, another focus on price point there. Uh, Will Savard says, hopefully they live up. They look awesome, though. Airborne Vet says, like in the Street Fighter. Uh, Barbell Lifestyle says, was hoping they were reintroducing the Dyna family, too. I know a lot of people are hoping for the Dyna family to come back, but honestly, I don't I don't think it's going to happen because, uh, you know, they, they cut the Dyna family, they merged a lot of those models into the new Softails, and the new Softails are pretty nice. If you guys haven't ridden them, go ride them. You know, the, the new suspension is awesome on those things. The power of the Milwaukee 8, awesome. Puts out more horsepower than like a Stage 1, my 2017 110 cubic inch, you know, low rider S, a Milwaukee 8. I can't remember if it's the 107 or the 114. Stock puts out more horsepower. Check out the new soft tails, man. Another person says, uh, mother of God, rat bastard says, hopefully Harley comes in swinging with that street bike. That's a big market there, dipping toes in for sure. Definitely a big market. Sometime Tyler says, finally something new and interesting from Harley Davidson. And Beardman says, adventure touring from Harley and that street fighter looks amazing. Bruh, I'm both impressed and excited. Same here, I am definitely impressed. I'm definitely excited. I know they're gonna get some hate about all this stuff, but you know, um, they're trying to obviously get into that younger demographic. Appeal to more people, appeal to a broader audience, and I do not fault them at all for wanting to do that. Yeah, with the recent Harley-Davidson internship, I mean, you can obviously see that they're aiming at that younger demographic, getting those, uh, you know, people out of college to uh, check out their bikes, go cross country, take over their social media, all that stuff. So I think they're making moves, definitely in a smart direction. Once again, tip of the hat to you, Harley Davidson. We're all very interested. Anyways, those are uh, those are my thoughts. Hopefully, I don't run too long. Yeah, it's going to be a lengthy video, but uh, there's a lot to go over here. I could even make this longer, but uh, normally I would try to do this on a bike, but it's too much too much to go over on a bike. I can't remember it all. And there's definitely stuff that I'm sure I've left out. But you guys check out the links in the description down below. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed the information. So yeah, there it is, guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so it uh, sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. If you guys know of anybody else that enjoys motorcycle content, be sure to share the channel with them. Tell them to subscribe as well. Till next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Yeah.